Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. I'm Mark, and what you see here is not a helicopter, but a converti plane, and more precisely, a VTOL aircraft produced by Vault Aeronautics. Called XC-142, it was one of the precursors in the development of hybrid aircraft that are able to fly like standard aircraft, but also to achieve vertical takeoff and landing. The XC-142 is equipped with four engines and a wing capable of rotating at 100 degrees. It was developed in the early 1960s, and only five units were produced by Voigt Aeronautics in collaboration with Ryan Aeronautical and Hiller Aircraft. Several years back, Hiller Aircraft had already created one of the very first VTOL aircraft when in 1956 the U.S. Air Force awarded the company a contract for the production of a prototype aircraft capable of taking off vertically. Stanley Hiller Jr. is known for designing the XH-44 at the age of 20. This was one of the first American helicopters. In 1959, the United States Army, Navy, and Air Force ordered the development of another short or vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that could be complementary to the existing transport helicopters, such as the Sikorsky CH-37. To meet this order, Voigt Aeronautics, Hiller Aircraft, and Ryan Aeronautical combined their knowledge and in 1961 introduced the XC-142 project, a transport aircraft capable of taking off vertically. The XC-142 had the cargo hold of a conventional cargo plane and could carry up to 32 fully equipped soldiers. At the rear of the aircraft, Voigt Aeronautics decided to put a loading ramp, which made the aircraft convenient for loading light vehicles. It was equipped with four General Electric T-64 turboshaft engines. These four turboshafts were mounted in the tilting wings and were connected by a common drive shaft so that only one engine was able to turn the four propellers. To help with its stability, the aircraft also had a separate tail rotor oriented horizontally to lift the tail when needed. In September 1961, the Voigt Aeronautics concept was selected by the U.S. Defense Authorities and five units were ordered in 1962. The first flight tests of the XC-142 began late September 1964, and in July 1965, the first prototype was sent to the U.S. Air Force team who would test it for several months in various situations. The tests included paratrooper drops, carrier operations, low-level cargo extraction, and simulated rescues, among others. Although the XC-142 prototypes were among the most successful converti planes of the time, no serial production took place and the program never went beyond the prototype phase. In fact, because the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force were no longer interested in the capabilities of the aircraft, the program was stopped in 1967, and the only remaining XC-142 was given to NASA for additional tests until 1970, the year when the program was permanently abandoned. Forty years later, among the five prototypes built, only one XC-142A survived, and it is still visible in the United States Air Force National Museum near Dayton, Ohio. Based on the unfortunate experience of the XC-142, but also its experimental aircraft, XV-3, Bell Company would successfully complete the flight of its XV-15 prototype on May 3, 1977. Tested by NASA, the XV-15 is the first tilt-rotor prototype that really proved the superiority of this kind of aircraft against traditional helicopters, especially in terms of speed. Following this success, Bell, along with Boeing, would begin to develop the V-22 Osprey some years later in 1983. The project would last about 20 years and would give birth to the first truly mass-produced VTOL aircraft. Several hundred V-22s were commissioned in 2005. These aircraft were primarily produced for the U.S. Marine Corps, who was seeking a replacement for its CH-46 Sea Knight and part of its CH-53 Sea Stallion transport helicopters. The V-22 has been used by the United States and Japan, but following delivery delays with Japan, it is currently only in service for the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Marine Corps. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done so yet, don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos, and if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content. 
thanks and stay tuned for the next video.